Welcome once again to Darshan, everyone. And uh, of course, this is an important topic because we are faced with it every day, especially in a pandemic situation across the world and so many people transit, transitioning from the body. Of course, this whole debacle is because of our, our doing. The universe has given us a beautiful, beautiful earth and beautiful diversity in humanity across the world. We have turned it into what it is now. And this is the consequence, it's called karmic, karma. Such a pity because there is so much ignorance and so much uh, ego in the world today. And the spirituality is now like a little flame trying to burn brightly and, and survive. And we sustain that flame with our goodness, our values. And of course, there are few true masters across the world only because the world is not ready and they will destroy them. So there are only few masters across the world well placed, so they are protected. But it's important for us to stay with those masters, learn from them, become like them, that we may grow the spirituality, the fire of spirituality across the world. So don't complain. The world is as it will be, a karmic burning pot. And there is no death. People come, they purify themselves to certain levels and they, they go. Do you, do, you, do you expect that everybody should live forever? That body should stay forever? Physical bodies? No, that's not the plan. You're given that as a soul in a lifetime with an opportunity to grow. Some of us use it well, some of us don't. And of course, life is not punitive. It doesn't seek to punish you. It seeks to help you grow. You punish yourself with your ego. The ego in ignorance can quite punish itself. The ego in sattva or in the light wants to, to grow that light. But the point here is that no one dies. I grew up in a, in a world of morbidity with death. I, I, I shunned the hearse. I shunned looking at the dead body. But that fear went away with more consciousness. I go to funerals now and I can tell the energy of the soul that has come out of the body. And it's exciting because then I can guide people into the inner space during a funeral, refocus them. Because there is no death. Energy rearranges itself. Every form that undergoes death is really undergoing change. Everything goes back into original and reform it, and reform itself. So there's on, on this plane of change, there's constant renewal of forms. But what is beautiful <laughs> is that our soul is deathless, deathless, breathless. We read it in certain, of certain scriptures, like the, the Bhagavad Gita tells it clearly, no birth, no death. It only appears to be, it says, soul is never born, nor will it die.
And when I can experience that, like I did with my father, that I didn't understand when I was 10, but I felt it. With my mother, I was more conscious. With my brother, more conscious. I could help them in the, in the space. It was absolutely beautiful. There was no death. One of my younger brothers, my mother passed away, and they burned the body at the pyre. He came home saying, wow, I felt like I won a football match. Victory, victory, victory. And I couldn't agree with him more. Who dies? Who dies? It's just ignorance. Consciousness cannot die. The subtle body cannot die. It transforms. And then you drop it off. Subtle body is what we call the deathless body. It, it won't die. It's subtle. But it's transformed and cleansed until it's no longer needed. It is the body of the ego, the subtle body. So ego will persi persist, physical body after physical body after physical body, there's no death. In the great story of the Mahabharata, there's a lot of, it's a, it happened in the same kind of, the same dark yuga. And at the end of it, all the souls liberated after the play, the great souls on the stage and the battlefield, they came out in their pure form afterwards. It was a play in a dark yuga. Thank God for the enlightenment and the consciousness about death. Otherwise, there'd be such fear in my being. But it is wisdom that takes away all fear. That's why Hindus pray to Ganesha. Ganesha is the energy of wisdom. It says, let me be wise, that there'll be no fear in me. There'll be no obstacle that I cannot meet the challenge of. That's Ganesha. Hindus sing Ganesha Sharanam, Sharanam Ganesha. I take refuge in the God of wisdom, the energy of wisdom, the consciousness of wisdom. I take refuge in that. Ganesha Sharanam, Sharanam Ganesha. And the Hindus, in, the, in terms of deities, they put the Ganesha first. Ganesha is the first deity that is honored in any of the rituals. Ganesha. Om Kanakana Padaya Namah. Om Shri Ganeshaya Namah. First mantra. Wisdom. It is seeking wisdom. Like Gayatri. Hindus pray to Gayatri the moment the sun appears. Om Bhurvaswa. Tatsavitur Varanya. Pargo Deva Siddhi Mehi. Teyo Yona Prachure. O light of all the chakras and beyond. Or cleansing light, purifying light, sin removing light, illumine my intellect, illumine my intellect. That's what Hindus pray. Om Bhur Bhurvaswa, all the chakras. That's the the light and beyond, transcendence light. Bhargo Devasya Dhimehi, divine and sin cleansing. Dhyoyana Prachorayat. Illumine my mental apparatus. It's such a joy for me just to repeat this mantra, just to understand it. Om Mahamrutum Jail. I honor you, O deathless one. Om Trayam Bakam Yajamahi. Omniscient. Sugandham Pushti Varjanam. May these pranas, these energies that emanate from your being. Sugandham is the 
the incense, the smell, the fragrance, mere fragrance, nourishes the pranas and bring prosperity, growth. Urvarukam eva bandhanan, mrichur mokshya. Free me from every attachment that is unhealthy and even free me from mortal consciousness. That consciousness. Ma pridad. Ma pridad. And please, don't withhold from me immortality. My soul craves immortality. Changeless you are, O soul. Deathless you are. Timeless you are in your essence. Identify with the essence. No birth, no death, no caste have I. Father, mother have I not. I am that, I am that, that the spirit, I am that. That's Yogananda Ji singing the song of Shankara, Hari Shankara Charya. Nirvana should come. The six verses to liberation. Shidana the Rupa, Shiva Am Shiva. I'm deathless, birthless consciousness. That I am. The song of liberation, the song of the soul. So I hope you would have been inspired by my talk today, that your soul can be nourished. And of course, this is one you need to listen again and again and again and again until it sinks in your soul, until you can hear this voice in your head. Because his voice is inside of you. I don't speak outside of you, I speak inside of you. So if you listen to this again and again and again, it gets into your being, it resonates with your essence. Have a blessed day, everyone. May you bring brightness to our universe, even if it's a little bit. Namaskar.